Hello Wanderers, welcome to a brand new season of our Blackfire playthrough here in the Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 3. And here is our character, Daemon the Mad Flame of House Blackfire, the king beyond the wall. This man is not a man that you want to mess with. He is sadistic. He is cruel. He is a man who would murder his own brother and potentially more, uh, but this is not a guy who is going to be well liked, but he will probably be well feared, and that is going to be his path to stability, to power, and that is going to come through oppression and conquest. So that is what you can expect from this character right here. He is definitely not a good guy, and we won't be playing him like a good guy, not at all. So High King Damon the Mad Flame, let's take a quick look at the character so you can all get a sense of him. He is actually pretty decent, so he is ambitious, he is sadistic, diligent, and paranoid. That's a pretty interesting collection of traits there. We can tell that this is, like I said, somebody who's very cruel, somebody who seeks power, but, you know, understands that there are going, that he has many enemies and he is very paranoid about getting assassinated, much like he assassinated his own brother, Maylis Blackfire. And overall, he is, but he is diligent, so he does work hard to attain what he, what he seeks to achieve, so. He is a dutiful captain, so he's not like a strategic genius or anything, but he, you know, understands, uh, he understands battle, so. He's a hunter, he is a forder, uh, reclusive, so, you know, he doesn't care for people too much. Uh, he is a very handsome fellow. Fairly trained fighter, so he's not a particularly good swordman, but he knows how to handle a blade or an axe. Uh, warlike courtier, experienced traveler, and a little bit of experience in, uh, riding his horse, so. Uh, all of our stats are pretty good. 13, 17, 13, 19, 15, so pretty good spread there. And our prowess is 28, which is actually quite high considering we are only a trained fighter and don't have like aspiring blade master or anything. We could pick those traits up. So yeah, actually pretty decent. Uh, you'll see we have three wives, the first among them and probably the one we favor the most is our sister, High Queen Deirissa, the She-Dragon. Uh, she is our lover as well, you can see here. So uh, one of the few people that we actually get along with. We are also wedded to two of our other sisters here, Rhaenys and Daenera. So, uh, you know, keeping the bloodline pure as Blackfires and Targaryens are wont to do. And you'll see all of our children have the traditional Valyrian color hair. Some of them have green eyes. We did both, uh, a lot of our family inherited uh, green eyes from the from on our mother's side here so we don't all have purple eyes there's a few with purple eyes but yeah the green eyes and the white hair seems to be a common trait of the north valyrian people anyways and so yeah there we go we have already what 11 children quite a few our heir is aemon blackfire who he's all right actually his stats are not terrible diligent paranoid uh, arrogant. Um, he is getting a diplomacy education. He's not terrible. I actually prefer uh, Damon Blackfire, the son named after us, Damon the second year, uh, because he has the quick and the handsome trait. Not to mention he's rowdy, so you know we might switch him over to be a, a warrior focused character. Um, and we have many many other sons here. You can see Makar, Damien, uh, Aegon. Balon, uh, who else here? Anis, and then we have a couple, I think just one daughter here. Yeah, just one daughter, Miguel. Oh, two actually, Dana and Daenerys as well. So there you go, that's, that's basically our family. We've got many brothers and sisters, including probably the most concerning is our sister Queen Ygritte, Bright Flame. And that is due to the fact that not only does she despise us, but she is also married to the Magnar of the Thens, which is one of the few independent kingdoms, hopefully not for long. 
Uh, but yeah, this is, she is definitely going to be trouble. I'm, I would be tempted to try to assassinate her when we have like a not, a, not a terrible chance. But I mean, I don't know if we'll actually be able to pull this off. Her husband is not somebody we need to be worried about, really. He's, you know, cowardly, arrogant, very zealous, um, rakish. You know, he's not, he's not somebody we got to worry about too much. But our sister, who is ambitious, just paranoid, um, you know, she could be trouble. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to deal deal with that. Uh, out of the rest of our siblings, I'm not too worried about uh, Agor. He's not so he's not so bad. Um, you know, he's cowardly and content. I think we might let him live. I am a little bit more concerned, however, about Magon because Magon is a brutal warrior and Magon does hate us. Um, ugh, not great chances of pulling off a murder scheme on Megon here. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to, we'll have to see about dealing that, but just the fact that he is a very skilled warrior, I think we could take him in a duel, frankly. Um, you know, he's only five points ahead of us. We might be able to, if we can get some good traits, we might be able to, to take him in a duel if we needed to. Uh, and then we've got uh, many, many other siblings. So you'll you'll see that we've obviously got uh, a few of our sisters as our wives, uh, a few of our sisters here. We've got Chiefess Egret, the daughter of wolves. She's a, an adopted sister uh, married to Magon here. So kind of a, you know, this was the girl who was raised by wolves. If you'll remember from that last season, pretty interesting character there. Um, then we have, yeah, our, our sister wives. Um, Chiefess Dayella, uh, she could be potentially, potentially troublesome. She is married to the other independent ruler. So two of our sisters are married to these last two independent rulers, which is troubling for us, but I think we're going to have to go and take these lands and subjugate them anyways. Uh, that's going to piss off our sisters, but, uh, you know, what are they going to do about it? Uh, then we've got some young, uh, younger brothers here. Dayrun and uh, uh, yeah, that's about it. And some younger sisters. Not really too worried about the children right now, but we've got some powerful older siblings that we will have to worry about. So yeah, that is that is something there. Looks like we've got some schemes going on already. And yeah, that is uh, just simply due to the fact that these schemes were going on before we took over. Apparently we're trying to murder our... Uh, our young sister here. Um, I guess if the AI thinks that that's, um, you know, the plan, then then we will continue with that. Uh, so, yeah, we'll we'll let the plan play out. I mean, that's the AI thinks that this is what the character would do. Uh, who am I to disagree? That's our situation there. We'll take a, a brief look at some other characters here. Uh, there's a couple important ones, minorly important ones, but still important nonetheless. And that is Gavin, the captain of our household guard, uh, who is one of our friends. So we don't have a lot of friends, but we've got a couple. And we've essentially appointed them as our bodyguards. You'll notice that they wear these, uh, you know, kind of like white cloaks. And these two guys, so our sworn shield and our captain of the household guard, are essentially the start of our own King's Guard, uh, essentially. We've heard rumors of the King's Guard and you know, we are Blackfires, and we have this claim to the Iron Throne. You know, we descend from the Targaryens. But we, as a character here, Daemon grew up his entire life beyond the Wall. He does not know the lands to the south at all, really. So, you know, these are just stories that we've heard, and we're trying to, you know, potentially, potentially we'll go south of the Wall, but we'll have to see. Um... So yeah, those two characters could be important uh, in keeping us safe. We've got a, a full court here with some uh, food taster, cup bearer, sworn shields. Yeah, we are definitely paranoid and are going to make sure that we don't get assassinated because I guarantee you that there's at least two or three assassination plots against us already. So that's something to worry about. Our council here is, you know, uh, fairly actually fairly skilled. Uh, we've got a Stellan, who's decent. Our ch Chancellor is extremely good here. Uh, Mance the Insane. Despite being insane, he's a very diplomatic man. 
our steward, Harma, I mean, the best steward that we've got anyways, uh, developing our realm. We've got our marshal, who is Terio, the uh, former first sword of Bravos here, much like uh, Sirio Forel was. Uh, this guy is a extremely skilled. Uh, he is raising or he is training Damon, so hopefully Damon will become a very skilled warrior as well. And then we've got uh, Chieftain Aemon here, who is uh, our spy master. He's a pretty good job. He's trustworthy at the very least. Uh, High Chieftain Wallen, the admiral of our very, very small fleet. And High Chieftain Gorn is our religious leader. So there you go. That's all the important characters. Now, what is the plan from here? Well, we're going to set time going. Uh, we are going to pick our uh, focus here. We're going to obviously go for the authority focus. We're going to rule through dread. That's the only thing that's going to keep us safe. And uh, I think we're going to take... We have one free thing to pick here. You know, I'm going to take loyalty and respect because I do want to make sure that our wives are at least reasonably pleased with us. And so they don't try to, like, murder us or anything. Um, so that's actually going to be fairly helpful there in keeping our wives from killing us there. We're going to finish off that uh, galleon tree. Um, I see it more as focusing on, like, you know, uh, focusing on our court and, you know, our own personal skill at arms, then we're going to go down Overseer here. But I would like to get Galliant because you get some nice bonuses to your to your prowess and things like that. So we can also potentially get this armor inspiration. This person is legendary and renowned throughout the world. He wants to make a shield. Too bad that's not an item we can keep on our person. I'm pretty sure that's a court artifact. But I think we're going to do it anyways. It's very costly. But, you know, they are legendary, so getting that getting that court artifact is going to be potentially very good. It could give us some really nice bonuses here, so. So, like I said, what, uh, oh, our scheme, now it's still gonna go good. I'm sure our, our tiny little sister here won't even know, know what's coming. So, uh, what do we do? I think that we are going to bring... One of, one of the first acts when becoming king is going to br subjugate all the lands that still remain out of our our holding. And, you know, our father might have had alliances with Flatfang and the Then, uh, but we are not our father. And so I think that we need to deal with this uh, in a more a more proper way. So we could uh let's see subjugate king snow wolf yeah i mean it's probably you can only do one subjugation war can we do subjugation wars against like other people i don't think so yeah so we can only do them against other tribal rulers so we might as well use it on one of these guys so let's subjugate king snow wolf here ah oh, we don't have the prestige we're gonna have to build up prestige so yeah we'll wait to see how that goes every time a black fire is born the gods toss a coin on one side greatness on the other side madness and the world holds its breath in to await the result it would seem for today that the toss has landed favorably damon seems naturally hard-working and dedicated to everything they do there we go we will watch your career with great interest ah, damon's turning out good i almost want him to, i almost would rather put him as our heir but i don't know how we would pull that off uh, let's see. Our wife is coming to us. Um, she says, Thank you for seeing me, uh, my husband. I come to you today with an urgent request. I've run into some financial difficulties. Very well. Your coffers shall be filled. Such a gesture of favor must be repaid. Um, I mean, this is our, this is our wife who is, uh, actually, you know, yeah, let's, let's, let's win her over. There we go. We get a nice bonus from that anyway, so. We have, we have coins so we can afford to develop our realm. That is something that our character is focused on. My hostage, Alfin's no longer of any relevance. Very well, he can return home, I suppose. So yeah, we gotta build up that prestige, but how are we going to do so? 
Uh, this is our beloved wife here who's coming to us. And she wants money as well. This doesn't actually cost us any money, so... Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know why. That's, that's obviously broken, but... Uh, in any case, building up that dynasty uh, level is, is not so bad. Ah, there's a tournament. Where is this? Where is this so-called tournament? Quite far away. Wow, we'd have to go a long ways. But, you know, we've got archery, uh, recital, and then the ceremony. Um, hmm. Now, I don't think we're going to go to an archery and recital. We got to go to one where we can actually, like, get involved in a melee or something like that. Inspiration, a friendly word. My friend Benar stops me in the hall with a beaming smile. Ah, uh, there you are, Damon. I've spoken to Harma. I heard she is making a shield for you. Couldn't resist a visit to the armory. I talked to her about how to meet your expectations. I think you will like the results. Ah, so he's assisting and making this a better quality thing. Maybe we'll get like a, an illustrious level item out of this. That would be pretty, pretty cool. We're going to have to figure out how to, to build up prestige here. We have... The thing is, we've got a lot of... Uh, men at arms and we could erase some of them, but they're I don't want to have to bring them back So we're gonna have to hope for events Let's see Danera comes to our hall. Thank you for seeing me. I come to you with an urgent request a malady of discontent prevails in my lands An imperial visit. No, you know what we are reclusive. So I'm going to deny uh, Going there that doesn't seem to fit for our character. So there we go. Ah, Queen Igrit's court now speaks common. Oh, wow. <laughs> you turning aside your Valyrian heritage, Igrit? Fine. Do so. Do so at your own peril. The walls of Mountain's End. The delegation from Mountain's End slowly files out of my private chamber. Our meeting uh, finally over. The petitioners beg for money to repair crumbling walls of the holding and have invoked my lordly duty to help them. I drum my fingers on the table. Pondering whether to send them funds, good good fortifications are hideously expensive. Of course, if the walls are crumbling anyways, I, then I could always divert their existing stipend to more personal matters. I have a duty to care for my subjects, so that's going to cost some money. I shall supervise the construction personally. Interesting. Oh, that's going to increase our martial lifestyle. Money is for me. Chieftain of Chained Maw gets... Ah, we could use the money. But we are diligent, so I think that we are going to choose the diligent option and supervise the construction personally. So let's see how well. And we masterfully improve the walls of Mountain's End. So that's not uh, that's not too bad at all. There we go. We are overwhelmed by stress, but we can we can tank that for now. Growing strong, Miguel has come out of her, her sickness, so very good, very good. Let's see. Defenseless, it is time. One of her, one of Chief Desarmor's wet nurses is willing to do what needs to be done. See that it's done, whatever the price. What was I thinking? Um, I mean, we should, should we not get rid of should we not get rid of these threats? I mean, uh, is this is this really worth it? Do you know? Is it worth this expensive bribe? Now, nah, our you know what AI decided our character thought it was so. Very well. There we go. So we lose some stress uh, because we're sadistic. So there we go, and we uh, we get we inherited some land out of that. So that's not so bad. Uh, you know, I have a feeling many of our siblings might uh, meet with unfortunate fates. Uh, let's see. What about our brother here? What about Magon? Oops. No, imprison him. That wouldn't work. Murder him, though. No. <laughs> Not very good chances of that. Uh, I mean... You know, we might have to deal with that at some point, though. Ah, Magon has arrived here. There are important matters regarding the welfare of Brokenwood. Very well. Come. Bow in deference to your king, Magon. 
Uh, thank you for seeing me. I've come today with an urgent request. I've run into some financial difficulties. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's. Mm, we could. Uh, we could prevent him from joining any factions. Um. Such gestures of favor must be repaid. My vassal's accounts are of their concern alone. You know what? Let's uh. Let's force him to essentially force him into support in return for fulfilling this offer. So we will get him to, uh, we know that he was plotting against us and we will say that if he stops plotting against us, then we will, we will be favorable towards him for a time anyways. Uh, you'll see some people do want to put our sister on the throne. We will not let them. She is our wife and she wouldn't, she wouldn't want that anyways, would she? There we go. Finally gaining some, a little bit of prestige here. But yeah, we gotta, we're gonna have to do some hunts. So we gotta get some money and stuff. Uh, let's see. Generous patient. You know what? We're gonna give our son patient. We are close to taking another stress hit here though. But, you know, we want to get him some decent traits anyways. Patient's a pretty good one. So... Ah, Chief this. All right, another one of our siblings has come to us. Um, we could demand, you know what? We will, essentially we're placing, ah, you know, I don't think we can, I don't think we can afford all of this, surely. Uh, my vassal's accounts are their concern alone. Dear sister, can you not manage your own realm? Uh, so there we go. Oh, what do we have here? We can join this grand tournament. Ugh, another, so many petitioners here. Thank you for list, for seeing me. I come to you today with an urgent request. I am beset by Chieftain's Blue Cats and her faction to install little Oryx on the Gleaming Plains throne. Uh, please help put these impudent whelps uh, into their place. Hmm. Straders will have to answer to me. My favors are best not forgotten. I will not fight your battles for you. You know what? We will offer a favor if he if he submits to us. Counter offer accepted. See, there we go. Cowed him into submission. Uh, what about this tournament here? Horse race and a duel. We could make it in here for the duel. It seems. Um, where is this? So far away. No, I don't think we're going to travel all the way. That's so long. That's a long journey that I just do not care to make. I'd like to save up some money so that we can get uh, to do a hunt. And that's going to give us some nice prestige. The latest work of my vassal, Chieftain Doss, has become all the rage at court. Pieces deal with memory and what we leave behind. And he is dedicated to me. What man does not hope to rest when tired, in glorious memory, with hearts desired, and when their final hour nears, wonder, will life echo through the years? I don't know how I feel about this. I can see that it's truly heartfelt. Um, I don't know. I don't know how we feel about this, frankly. Uh, nobody should speak of the king's death, obviously. Ugh, we could hold court, but I don't think we can afford the prestige right now. Another martial lifestyle perk, perk, though, is not so bad. Number of captains. I mean, do we need more captains? I guess. You can never have too many captains. I bump into a very grave-looking Harma, my armorer, hoping that she doesn't bring ill news of the splendid shield she should soon have ready for me. There you are, my liege. I have hit a major wall in my work. Or not a major wall, but a wall nonetheless. My ideas have gone to ground as the pressure mounts. I just need some inspiration. Might you have some prior examples I could examine? To the armory, we say, or I know what you need. Um, you know what? Let's, uh, let's try it. Or Muse Fleas. The armor has lost one progress, so that's unfortunate. My sister wife is with child. I should be overjoyed. However, she is acting strange, and I cannot shake the feeling that something's wrong. It's hard to believe she would ever betray me like this, but could it be that I'm not the father? She must tell me. We'll confront her directly. Of course the child is yours, she says. Why would you ever think otherwise? Why is she, like, 
So what's going on with her? Like she looks terrible. Uh, she's ill and ill and pregnant. That's a rough combo. Um, I don't believe her. You know what? We're gonna try to discover the truth. We are paranoid after all. I don't know if we believe her. Suspicions laid to rest. It seems my fears may have been unfounded. Um, she found out that we were looking into it. She does not care for that, but uh, we needed to we needed to know the truth. All right, so inspiration realized. Ah, look at this. The well, we're gonna rename this to the Blackfire Shield, but let's take a look at our illustrious small wall ornament. Ah, that's nice. That prestige bonus is gonna be helpful. Renown bonus and court grandeur bonus. So ah, it's not an amazing artifact, but it's actually it's not terrible though. Uh, we'll put it up in our court. Put it up right over here. Um. We could rename it. Oh, yes, let's go. And then we go over here to rename it the Black Fire Shield. There we go. That is a little bit more fitting, would you not say? So that little bonus to our prestige is going to help quite a bit. Warrior Lodges constructed here in our capital. So we've got a pretty decent, you know, capital, despite the fact that it's like a wildling, wildling capital here. Our son has learned the common tongue, which is good. Um, one of them anyways, uh, I thought it was our eldest son there. Oh, there we go. Bunch of our children learning the common tongue. Uh, let's see, study another language. Yeah, you can study the common tongue. You can study the old tongue. Let's see here. Anybody else have any language? Send to the Citadel. Wow, that would be nice if we could do that, but I don't know. I don't see how that would make any sense. I would like to, you know, uh, disinherit you because I think your brother is going to be the true. Well, yeah, no, he turned out to be Craven. That's uh, all right. Well, Damon, you you ha you looked hopeful. But you know what? You didn't. Uh, you you let cowardice overcome you. So you know you're not uh, you're not the favorite heir anymore. Uh, it's not like Eamon's actually that bad. You know his prowess is pretty decent. Base skill of eight is really quite good. Um, I'd be tempted to switch him over to. Um, ah, he wouldn't do good with a martial education. Diplomacy maybe, but you know what? I'm tempted to now that he's got all of his traits. I might remove myself as his guardian and then educate him with uh, Terio here to try to get him that really good uh, to see if we can get him a formidable fighter trait or, or something like that. Um, we'll see if he we'll see if he ends up getting it or not. But uh, you'll see that we don't have a spouse for Amen picked out and that's because I want to I want to hold off you know we do have potential potential options for him but yeah I'm I, I'm, I want to hold off just a bit because if we end up going south of the wall we may want to get him like a marriage like if we take the north or something like that you know we could potentially marry him to like a Stark or something like that to try to solidify his position there so you know, I'm not too concerned about getting him a wife uh, just yet. Mental break resentment. Hmm, we could become uncouth. We could just endure. Oof, no, I mean, uncouth, eh? Uh, we could become a drunkard. Uh, drunkard's ah, not really great. I think we're going to become uncouth and just, you know, we're we're not really we're not really a character who is pleasant to be around. That's for that's for sure. Mercy for the mercenaries, the bustling of an inn, a fine cider, a calm evening after a long day of training. My tankard is knocked out of my hand by a mercenary reeling from a blow and all hope of relaxation drains away into the floor along with my cider. Please, my lord, the innkeeper begs. Alfin's thugs have been drinking me dry without paying for days. 
and they're fighting is scaring off the get the staffing guests. They are true dunk to be a real threat. This will be over quickly. Um, yeah, you know what? We're gonna just like we're gonna pull out our axe and we're gonna just slay a bunch of these bandits right here, right now. Uh, just a massacre in the in the in there, just out of our anger. Oh ho oh, oh, ho! You are weak, High King Damon. The time has come for you to step down. My brother Chieftain Magon approaches me in front of the whole tribe, proclaiming his challenge for all to hear. I will rule the High Kingdom from beyond the wall from this day forth. Well, okay. I mean, I didn't even know this was possible. Wow. I knew, I knew Magon was gonna be trouble here. Huh, interesting. Oh, you know, if only we had, you know what, 20, ooh, we're only at 23. I mean, yeah, he's, he's quite a bit stronger than us. This could be, this could be tough. Let's see. Put some steel behind your words. Only if you can beat me in fl fl flighting? What is this? A learning challenge? I will not fight you on this. I don't think we would do a learning challenge. We are a warrior. Put some steel behind your words, boy. Single combat against Chieftain Magon. Oh boy, are we gonna be able to to pull this off? I I do not know. He'll never see this coming. Fool, take this. You know what? We're gonna go this. Oh, knife to hand. There we go. Yeah, let's take do that. There we go. My axe makes a quick slash one way, only for me to draw the fresh dagger with my offhand and lunge at him. Uh, his stance is formidable. Maggot, you think you can stand against me? It's the best you got. You can't even hit me. Better men than you have died trying to break my guard. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, that's gonna increase his chance for success. Ooh. Yeah, I think that we are going to go with that. Uh, let's see. Oh, we gained dual handicap rank two. We've gained some stress. Uh-oh. Yikes. Uh, I think we're gonna go for, let's see, we gotta increase our chances here. Hmm, and opening try my steel knave, come on. Holy crap, we actually pulled it off. I thought we were gonna lose. I thought we were for sure gonna lose this. <laughs> oh my God, I can't, I was like, I. I I was uh, really expecting us not to be able to pull that off. His prowess was so much higher and, and things were not looking good there. What? I can't believe we pulled that off. <laughs> Jesus, that is insane. I surged towards my opponent's heart, almost ending this with one blow. Magon fights like a man possessed, lashing out with a never ending storm of powerful cleaves that force me back and back and back. It's not till he takes a second to exult in his imminent victory that I'm able to land a desperate blow to his temple with the haft of my axe. He staggers back, blindsided, giving me a solid opening to swipe his axe away with a powerful cleave. With no, oppo with no weapon left, my opponent is at my mercy, and he knows it. A bitter yield is mine in moments. I am victorious. There we go. I win the single combat. He gains wounded. I think we would... Would we not just kill him here? I wonder if it's going to give us the opportunity. Uh, there we go. And look at... Oh, what? <laughs> and then he died. He ate some poisonous plants by mistakes immediately. Ooh, you know what it is? All right. So, you know what? He got injured after fighting us in that duel. And so the, the medicine person who went to, to heal him... Uh, I think, you know, maybe maybe somebody may have had a hand in, you know, switching out the herbs or bribing the person who was uh, seeing to our brother's wounds. And then, you know what? He just passed away uh, of his wounds. So <laughs> what? look at the timing. This could not have worked out in a better way. This is pretty much the perfect way to end this episode. So if you enjoyed this one, I know I certainly did. 
make sure to subscribe to the channel. There will be more episodes coming out. And leave a like on the video if you uh, liked watching it. That's what the button's there for. So until the next time, Wanderers, I will see you in the next one.